the front door. Wait, our front door? I seem to have just left out Alan of the conversation. He's big mad. This is like the first time we ever got to choose, so you know what? Let's take this opportunity. Hi everybody, I'm Degenerate, and welcome to my dear Hatchet Man. Another game I know absolutely nothing about. <laughs> it was somewhat an old habit of mine to walk. Every night I walked. Due to- I thought we were driving. What's going on here? Due to the consistency of my routine, walking has helped me to put my mind at ease and numb out the fresh cool nights. Okay, besides, it was a good source to wear me down before bed. I don't have to rely on sleeping meds as much. Oh, dang. There's nothing fun about laying in bed, having my eyes glued to the ceiling and dissociating. I have become so familiar with the path, staring at the same damaged sidewalk, hitting a couple of pebbles with the tip of my shoes. I would usually disappear into the woods for 20 minutes or so. I wouldn't call myself a nature lover, per se. If I couldn't sleep, I'm just... I'd rather stick to the pills. I'm not walking around the woods at night. No. Hell, I could not imagine myself abandoning my phone. At least we have our phone. But then again, I should could get broken in like two seconds. But at night, the woods were all I wanted. I don't know why, but this has been the only place that gave me motivation to move, to get out of bed. The woods? At night? College hasn't been too kind to me, and having just moved out on my own just recently made me feel all the more isolated. Was there something wrong with me? No, taking little walks and relaxing at night to sleep is normal. I never strayed from my path. It was practically... It has practically become burned to my memory. And I was kind of proud of that. It was like my own little secret hideout where, if I could, one day just disappear from it all. However, today I felt bold. Why? And so I wandered off from my usual path, heading to the, to the wild. Oh, it is so dark. Okay. At first, the new environment felt nice. Without noticing, time kind of flew by, and all my sense of direction withered away. So we're lost. I now found myself confused. Okay. And alone. In the woods. <laughs> Damn. I couldn't recognize any noticeable landmarks to help my way out. Oh, how funny is this? It's actually not. I feel like the final girl of a campy slasher movie being tracked down by the killer. Mm -mm. I'm so stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Of course I was gonna end up lost. Why did we decide today to- oh, let's go off the whole routine. Great. Not only am I lost, it's dark. No stars. Are those not stars up there? Only the faint light of the moon not doing much help. But I am losing sleep as we know it. You might as well camp out here. I can feel the soles of my feet starting to ache. Perhaps now might be a good time to collect myself before I have a full blown meltdown in the middle of the woods. I lay my head low, feeling a heavy weight on me. I took a few deep breaths. Cry. <laughs> Cry. Or stay silent. Um, crying makes people feel better, so let's cry. Too late. I couldn't help but feel warm. Frustrating tears run down my face. That's what I did when I got lost one time. It was terrible. I let out a few soft sobs, forcing myself to stay as quiet as possible. For God's sake, I really don't know where the hell I am. Snap. Like, as in me saying snap, or did something snap? 
Oh, a... It was a branch. The deafening silence was abrupted by what seemed like a twig. What the hell made that sound? I jumped, startled. I took a few steps back, nearly losing my balance. Wherever that sound came from, I didn't see anything. Oh, don't cry. Huh? A muffled voice came behind me. I quickly turned around and see a person. Oh my gosh. What have you been through? Who cut you? I still could not make out his features as his features well. His hair was wild, sticking out from the top of his head. He was holding something. A hatchet. Am I about to get murdered? He was? I didn't even see any. Oh, there's nothing. <laughs> my muscles tensed up as I prepared to make a break for it. He seemed to notice my mannerism. Hey. What's up? <laughs> he held up his hands, letting the hatchet slip from his fingers and into the grass. His movements were slow and harmless. Take it easy. I'm not an animal. Or, well, humans are animals, but I'm not a, like a wild animal. Who the hell are you? Just some guy trying to help you out, that's it. Mm-hmm. That wasn't very comforting at all. Especially now that he reached over to the ground, retrieving his hatchet, and casually swung it over his shoulder. Why the hell did he sneak up on me like that? Oh, sneak up to me like that. Why was he in the woods? Has he been following me? He could ask you all these the same questions. Where did you even come from? I live here, actually. Just a couple miles. Got my own place and everything. Why do you have an axe? Also, I wasn't crying. <laughs> it's a hatchet, first of all. Yeah, this, we said it in our head. It was a hatchet, and then we... Why would we say out loud axe? Sure. <laughs> okay. Are you going to murder me? What? What? No, I was getting some firewood. It was starting to get cold around here. I was still trying to... <laughs> I was still trying to come down from, my, from the adrenaline. I didn't even notice the chilly breeze. I started connecting the dots. He was probably telling the truth. I'm not at all experienced in forest living. Who am I to tell him that he doesn't know what he's talking about? So why exactly did you come here? Well... You want to get out of here, don't you? I know my way around. Maybe I'm being too paranoid. He doesn't seem like he has any intention of hurting me. Hurting someone. See, degenerate, not every everyone is out to get you. Just follow him so he can take you back home. That smile is, like, mischievous, though. It's It reminds me of, um, Kokichi. In case you're still skeptical, you can go behind me. He offered out his hand, of course. I hesitated, but I took it away. I could feel his fingerless gloves as he gave me gave my hand a tight squeeze. He had some coarseness? Or, yeah, but it didn't bother me. It took us a good while to get back. I must have really wandered way too way far off than expected. The trees were becoming less dense, and I could see his traits more and more. His eyes were particularly striking. Oh yeah, because it's like, it's like one of them is the black in the inside and then white and the other one is white in the other. They were both different. I shouldn't be staring, it seems kind of rude. In fact, the whole time I have been acting rude, huh? Hey, um, hmm? Sorry for being kind of reluctant back there. He simply shrugged and smiled at me. I don't blame you. I mean, if I was in your position, I would have probably freaked out. I saw some random guy with an axe approach me as well. But it was a hatchet. What happened? <laughs> hatchet. Sure. <laughs> what the? <laughs> that seemed to get a laugh out of him and let <laughs> let off some tension as well. It's been a while since I left. Nowadays, it's been feeling like I have been so isolated. I'm surprised I could achieve a conversation with him, let alone other people. With time, the dirt path merged with the edge of the sidewalk. Thank God we made it. What a relief. And then we- oh, I was supposed to say, and then we die. 
There you go. Oh my god, thanks. I didn't notice that I was still holding his hand. He gave me a small smile before I stuffed my hands into my pockets. Other than having a breakdown in the woods, this entire experience wasn't that bad. I'll see you around then. He continued to stand in his place while I turned my back from the woods, walking into my neighborhood once again. Stopping at the front door, I gave him one last wave. I couldn't really tell from the distance, but he seemed to wave back. The front door? Wait, our front door? I thought he took us to our house, and that would be he knows where, he, where we live. Stopping- yeah, okay. Okay, we're good. I'm so tired. Exhausted, I immediately threw myself onto my bed, finally able to get some rest. My eyes, they feel heavy. That stranger seemed nice. I didn't catch his name. I'll ask him tomorrow. My body is aching. Feels like someone's on top of me. Huh? Don't do that. Don't do that. How long did I sleep for? It seemed way too bright to be early in the morning. I guess it must have been incredibly late when I slept. Last night, memory started flooding back to the encounter I had with that stranger in the woods. I felt some sort of mix of comforting jitters sink in. I had only moved in a few weeks ago. Oh my gosh. And we just moved. But now knowing that he has been in the woods this entire time, I haven't- I have been exploring them. It was a little uneasy to process. It's like a part of my privacy has been exposed. To be fair, I do feel a little silly thinking that. I didn't own the woods. If anything, I invaded his privacy by going off my usual path. Although I haven't lived here for very long, I'm surprised I haven't heard about a man living in the forest. Then again, it's not like I'm really chatty with the neighbors to inform me about it. Was I thinking too much about this? Am I being insensitive? Should I be feeling like I want to run into him again? Uh oh. I didn't ask for his name. Yeah, we know that. Uh, check phone. I usually check my phone first. So. Before doing anything, I wanted to catch up on what has been happening. I only see one message. It was an unknown number. Open it. Why not? Hey. Do you know the chapter we are studying for English? Oh, this is Erica by the way. Oh, Erica, I remember her. She's part of my class. I, kept, I thought for like a split second it was gonna be the guy. But I'm glad it was... Cause that'd be strike number two. I'd recall, I could recall we exchanged phone numbers because our professor recommended it. He was the one who approached me. Didn't talk to her a lot. She didn't seem like the type. I will casually answer questions in class. One thing that stuck out, however, was that she had an incredible style. She had an eye for colors and patterns from what I could tell. It was surprising that she wasn't talk taking a fashion course, but instead an interior design course. Erica was cool and seemed like she had her shit together, unlike me. Chapter 4, I believe. With a groan, I forced myself up from the comfort of my bed. To be honest, it seemed better to do something than be slacking around in my sheets. This has been the first time I have been motivated to do anything in a while. <laughs> That's kind of sad. <laughs> Ding. Thanks. Question mark. Sorry, can you tell I don't text often? I really don't care. That made me smile just a tad. It seems like a stupid decision to go back into the forest just to thank some stranger. Dangerous, some might say. I mean, at least the sun was still out, so it wouldn't be as bad as staying in the woods at night, right? Yes, that's when you're supposed to do that. I stuffed my phone into my pocket and prepared to get ready. I walked back into the familiar path. The cool air was sharp as ever. I could feel the nipping at the tip of my nose. 
I tried to recall the path I took that initially got me lost yesterday. It didn't take long for me to fall back into a daze, feeling sense sensely strayed. Alright, just thank him and you can go on your merry way. And get some shut eyes, simple as that. We were just asleep. Let's start to speculate in my head the more I paced around in a, f in a frantic circle. Why am I being stupid? <laughs> you should be here, right? Why did I think this was a good idea? It'd be nice to have someone to share the woods with. What if he hurts me? Like he did- Oh, oh you're here again. Oh, thank god. <laughs> it might have been my desperation, but the sound of his voice took off a huge wave of relief. I turned around to eagerly- Too eagerly, seeing a smug expression on his face. He made me happy in a way. <laughs> you seem to get easily lost. What if I wasn't here to get you out? No eyes. No eyes. This comment made me uh, play with um, the hem of my sweater. I could feel my cheeks starting to burn. Hopefully he didn't notice. Well, I actually came to see you. Why did I say it like that? I wanted to thank you properly, I mean. I know I already did last night, but I might have come off as crass and I still feel bad about it. About that whole ordeal. I started to ramble at this point. I need to get this over with before I come off as hysterical. So, uh, thank you. Alan. Nice. I'm sorry? My name is Alan. Might as well get it out of the way. Oh, well, thanks for helping me, Alan. I gave his name a try. It came out softer than how I usually speak. I noticed him begin to smile, avoiding eye contact. Don't look like it. <laughs> I was beginning to feel the silence between us start to grow. No problem. Besides, it's really sweet of you to come back just to tell me that. Oh, he was flirting. It flattered you. You don't mind it. Oh, I thought this was a response. Never mind. I don't know. I'm so... I don't know. I'm um, so I don't know. Uh, I guess let's say it flattered me. Wait. <laughs> so indecisive. Um, I guess. I guess. Yeah, you know, yeah. It flattered you. It was kind of cute how I became so bashful then flirtatious so suddenly. Oh. Okay. I couldn't help but smile back at him. We began to start a whole different conversation from there. At first it was just regular small talk, most of it about me of course. I told him what I did for a living and what I was currently studying. He seemed to be a good listener, or at least I think he was trying to be. I don't think it's hard to listen. It became evident that I kind of ran out of things to talk about. It was only fair to ask about him, right? I don't want to make it seem that, that I only like talking about myself. Not to sound rude or anything, but... Hmm? I'm a little curious about your whole... Thing here. Oh. I know, I just moved in. I, and it's none of my business, but... Why do you live all the way out here? How come no one has ever told me about you? you see, I don't think people know him. Like, I don't think they know he exists. And if they do, they're lying. He seemed to give some thought to my questions. He simply gave me a shrug. I don't know, I always figured I lived better on my own, I guess. At least that's what I think. Maybe he was a bit of a hermit. I totally don't mean to judge him. In a way, I kind of do feel for him not wanting to interact with others. He was just a little more on the opposite end. Maybe he thinks I'm, a, I'm the weird one for wanting to interact with him. It's not every day someone just comes back to thank you for helping them out of the woods. For a loner, he sure was easy to talk to. He was the one to first start a conversation better than I ever could. Hey. He snapped me out of it. Like he knew I was thinking about who knew I- Wait. Thinking isn't here. Wait. He snapped me out of it like he knew I was- Oh, I was about to get lost in my thoughts. Okay. Whoops. 
Wanna go check something out? I think you might like it. Uh, oh. <laughs> I guess you're like a dead, uh, animal or something. I blinked. The way he worded it sounded very vague. I don't know, it depends. Are you gonna trick me and plan my murder? Sounds very fishy of you, Alan. I joked. He seemed- and he seemed to get a good laugh out of it. It was not a very good joke, <laughs> but it felt good just to laugh with someone. Maybe I needed this. I just needed to talk to someone. I mean, now you got me curious. Might as well, right? Good. He seemed extremely pleased that I agreed. He took hold of my shoulder to guide me to the, to the direction he planned to take me. We both took our time walking through the forest, having a whole casual conversation to make, it up, make up for it. It felt like being reunited with an old friend and trying to catch up on our lives together. It was nice. I began to share some stuff with Alan that I haven't been able to talk about for a while. In return, he told me a little- he told me little things about himself. Oh. I took notice of him trying to crush crunchy leaves under his shoes. Sometimes getting bummed out if one didn't crunch. Yeah, that really does suck. It was kind of cute. I noticed his skin looked slightly more sickly pale. Tiny, but still noticeable scratches across his cheeks. And his eyes bore dark circles. Almost looked like he was about to collapse. But he looked so gentle. He seemed to have noticed that I was looking at him. Oh no, I got caught. I ducked my head, scratching the side of my cheek. Before I could come up with an excuse that I totally wasn't staring at him, Alan pushed my head down, getting on, getting onto my knees rather painfully. What the? Uh oh. I thought something else was gonna happen. Alan crouched down beside me, carefully moving closer to what seemed like a small stream. With windflowers? Ooh, windflowers. Oh, wildflowers. And veg vegetation. Almost like a mini meadow covering the entire land. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, it's alive though! So we're all good. And I see a deer. It was happily nibbling on some grass, and on occasion would which is cute fluffy tail. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I wish they weren't so afraid of people. Well, some of them aren't. They will jump right in front of cars. <laughs> Both me and Alan didn't move a muscle. To us to not scare the cute creature. To us to not scare the cute creature. But we still enjoyed the view. Hello, cutie, ain't he? I always come here to see if he's around. Oh, that's nice. That was adorable. <laughs> Who knew Alan had such a sensitive soul? At least that's what I thought. I mean, I come as a surprise to you, but my favorite animals are deers. Is that why you called me doe eyes before? Do I remind you of a deer? Alan stayed quiet. Uh oh. You caught him. A little taken aback by my question. However, another sound stopped him from responding. He got lucky. Huh? They're new. What's new? Oh. Let's wait. Another deer emerged from the wood, joining in. Oh. Oh, they're like, um... Because that's... The male deers are the ones with the antlers, so... They're like a little couple. That's cute. I couldn't deny that it was a rather adorable sight to see. Maybe it's more than one reason. What was that? It was barely a whisper. I could only manage to hear a few words from him. Nothing. Anyway, wanna grab a bite to eat? I know uh, there's a store not that far from here. Why not? I'm getting peckish. Yeah. He swiftly got to his feet again, not bothering to dust off his clothes. He still had the decency to hold out his hand for me to get up. Alright, we probably won't take long if we get going now. Almost like before, he kept holding my hand, though the entire walk back through the entire walk back to civilization. I stopped feeling so foreign as if I knew Alan and trusted him enough to hold hands. I don't know why he made me feel so safe. I feel melodramatic thinking about it. Everything seemed to get blurry, and I could feel my stomach doing flips.
It was then that the obnoxiously bright lights of the store pulled me out of uh, the trance. There were a couple of people in this small store, most of them adults, collecting some boxes of beer. Alan started scanning around as if to memorize where everything was. His attention was immediately caught by the ice aisle. His smile brightened like a child. The ice cream? Pick anything you want, it's on me. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a free for all here. Hot fudge? And there's like slushies over here? I'm going crazy. How generous of him. I looked around and decided to get. Ice cream! I love ice cream. I reached in the cold freezer, grabbed myself whatever seemed most appealing. Ice cream. Alan flashed me a smile. He seemed giddy that we got the same thing. <laughs> we twins. I love ice cream. Got everything? Yep, let's go. Food box? What does that say? Fresh? This head's in the way. Oh, <laughs> summer pool. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's a frozen reference, but Woohoo! Big summer blowout! We left the store asking basking in our glorious treats. Alan proceeded to scarf his ice cream down. Damn. You're gonna choke yourself eating like that. Then that's how I wanna go. <laughs> Here lies Alan, death by ice cream. He dramatically put his hands in his heart and lowered his head, all gloomy. I snorted him, playfully pushed him. Though I could barely manage to make <laughs> Make him lose his footing. People will think you died from lactose, then. I mean, I kinda. Oh, fuck. That's amazing. I'm lactose intolerant, too. But I eat ice cream all the time. That's my favorite dessert. Just a bit. And you took that risk? Do it every day. <laughs> I like to live on the edge, I guess. I roll my eyes. No, seriously, I stole five chocolate bars while nobody was looking. What? You shoplifted? <gasps> so dangerous. It's chocolate. They probably have a shit ton. He gave me a proud smirk and sipping his coat, showing me his loot. I was dumbfounded. I couldn't believe it. This man just robbed a store. It's chocolate. It's candy. How did I not even notice him? He must have been real sneaky or quick. You should see the look on your face right now. I generally don't care, but I condone stealing to some extent. Like one piece of candy? Come on now. He took five bars, but either way, it's still, it's just chocolate. He reached in, grabbing one from his stash. You can't just, that isn't, I said it was on me, right? They aren't gonna waste their time over some shit like stolen candy. That's and all the more reason. Plus, if it went bad, it just would have been thrown in the garbage, and it would have been a waste of food. So, yeah. His fingers fidgeted with the wrapper, prying it open and taking a bite before nudging it towards me. <laughs> Stolen stuff tastes better. He has it. <laughs> Hesitantly, I reached over and took the tiniest bite. I couldn't explain it, but he was right. It was like the forbidden candy bar. So I feel kind of bad that he went out of his way to steal stuff from me. I feel like he probably does it on his own. Aren't they the same candy bar? Oh, for him, it tastes... Uh, that's why I was... I don't know. Um... Come on. We're having fun. That only seemed fair, right? It was the least I could do. I motioned my ice cream towards him at first. He gave me a confusing look, but soon got the hint. <laughs> he leaned out, accepting my offer. Unknowingly, he grazed the top of my. Oh, I had an ice cream sandwich? That's such a good choice. Ice cream sandwich. Unknowingly, he grazed the top of my hand as I held the ice cream. Maybe he did. I could feel him tightening his grip slightly as he looked up at me. Ooh, don't do that. I could feel the tips of my ears beginning to heat up. I could not look anywhere besides his gaze. You have good taste. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. Is that a strawberry? Ice cream sandwich? 
even better, 100 points. He only smiled at me before walking away and continued to eat his forbidden chocolate bar. Hey. Don't, don't. <laughs> I followed him soon after. We walked all the way back to my house, eating the stolen candy. I got some sort of cheap thrill knowing he could have we could have potentially got caught and Alan shared that feeling as well. Being with him was thrilling. It was nice. Very cool little hangout. Sesh. I didn't notice how late it was. It has gotten since I soon reached the comfort of my bed. I felt tired, sure, but I also feel satisfied, at ease. Whatever I felt, I knew I was going to see him again tomorrow. Cool. Make it a day routine, huh? What? I open my eyes, but I can't see anything. I try to feel around, but nothing appears to be in front of me. Oh, we're having a nightmare. <laughs> that was right here. Right here. Don't do it again. Fingers started tightening around my throat. Why? I started to call just. I thought we were having a nightmare. I'm starting to think this is real life. Oh my gosh. We were having so much fun just a couple seconds ago. I started to call desperately. My lungs feel like they're about to collapse. That was it. Holy shit. What a way to start the morning. Don't bother. Mm, check him. He's probably asking for homework again. It isn't even a person that woke me up and said it was like... Oh. Emergency alert? Oh. What's that called? Amber alert? The thing about another missing person. Oh, brother! Seems like it was out of my control. I guess. My head was pounding. I felt incredibly drained. Time reminded me that I only got a measly three hours of sleep last night. A half empty bottle of sleeping medicine was on its side. I did not want to wake up. Oh, get up. Oops. Same thing. I wanted to see Alan, though. I'm starting to think we should stop going over there. I wonder what he was going to plan today. He had a knack for keeping me on my toes and surprising me. <laughs> I bet he's going to do more of that later too. He asks me... Oh, he makes me feel warmth every time I think about him. It was kind of strange, but it was, a, it was charming in a way. I guess. If I was ever going to see him, I might as well get ready. Despite the rough morning, I didn't feel quite as tired as I did before. It could be because I was pretty much looking forward to meeting up with the local cryptic man I met just two days ago. It was certainly worth getting lost in the woods just to hang out with Alan. Much better than wasting my time being cooped up inside in my home, water bottles and dirty laundry taking up the space. I can tell we're probably, like, depressed. Right on cue, I see Alan from this from the distance waiting for me. I presume. He appeared to be playing around with his hatchet before I noticed before noticing my presence. He cutely waved at me with the biggest grin on his face. Did he always have sharp molars? Degenerate, you made it. I did. How did you know? Hey Alan, sorry if I was late. Not really. You're right on time actually. Really? I figured because of my lack of sleep, I would have arrived later than expected. Alan rested his hands on my knees. Trying to get at my eye level. Oh, on his knees. I'm dumb. Trying to get at my eye level. He was really close. Am I small? How small am I? You ready for what I have planned for today? At face value, this is actually really nice. He flashed me a hopeful smile. How could I say no to his excitement? Yeah, let's... Or I could answer my phone went off. Sorry. It felt rude to answer a phone call while Alan was around, waiting for me to answer. But what if the call was something important? Hey, oh, it's Erica. Hello. Hey, what's up? Oh. Immediately after speaking, I looked over to Alan, who seemed to have an annoyed expression on his face. Damn. I apologize. Sorry if I'm bothering you at the moment. I know it's the end of the week, and trust me. I want nothing more than to just shun the rest of the world as well, but... What? I want you to meet me at the park. Is that okay? 
my, that's weird. Uh, I don't see why not. Erica might have needed something from me. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be cool to leave her like that. What about our our play date with Alan? Do you think can I bring a friend over? I don't think he wants to come. My eyes hovered over to Alan. His annoyed face now brightened when I mentioned him. <laughs> that was creepy. Oh god. <laughs> Although once I took off, took my eyes off him, I could have sworn that smile dropped once again. As long as you get your hermit ass out here, I don't see any harm. Don't be late or I'll end up ditching you. I don't- God damn it. I couldn't tell if she was joking or not. She has a strange sense of humor that sometimes flew over my head. He hung, we hung up and I looked back to Alan. He, his displeased face was replaced by a curious one. Whoa. He appeared to be looking at my phone. Yes, I have been gone for a while. What? You're standing right here. What? My phone? You've never seen a phone before? Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, not that. I do have a phone, but... Alan proceeds to reach into his back pocket, pulling something out. It was a phone. An old flip phone. I haven't seen these bricks in what seemed like forever. Mine isn't as cool as yours. <laughs> That's adorable. He smiled bashfully before putting. <laughs> he said it's not as cool. <laughs> before putting his phone away. Wow, you need to get caught up with the current times, Alan. Your phone. Our phones do much more stuff now. Yes. Mm hmm. Oh, don't give him that information, though. What if he, like. becomes more creepy? That's incredible. We both started to walk to the park as I showed him all the apps I had. Being in the woods, there wasn't any steady signal, so showing him any type of social media was thrown out the window. Don't give him that. Nevertheless, he was still impressed as I bombarded him with new this new information. If what he said was true, then he must have been off, um, fuck, off of society for a long time, really long time. Why was he in the woods? What happened to him? Why didn't we ask this first? I did not realize that huge scar on his arm. Were those stitches? Yes. Oh god, Alan, what happened to you? We're not gonna ask. Both me and Alan continued to talk about our day as we made our way to the park. I wonder why Erica wanted to wanted me to come. We didn't have to study or anything um, class-related, which is why she used to call me for it. She told me that she doesn't usually date classmates or hang out with them outside of class because, well... Too many guys thought they had a chance of barring my bras and were disappointed after I had the gal to reject them. Gall to reject them. What? Borrowing my bras? That's stupid. Yikes. Probably why she decided to approach me rather than any of the male classmates. Degenerate. Yo. A voice I didn't recognize called me. Alan puts. It's not- Alan, calm down. <laughs> That's my name. How else is anyone supposed to address me? His eyes watched the other side of the park. I could see two people. One I could immediately recognize as Erica. The other person, however, I've never seen him before. Mm-mm, no. I thought I was meeting Erica. You need to tell me beforehand, because you're not going to mentally prepare for that stuff. How did you know my name? God, degenerate? Oh, hi. Hello. I was expecting only Erica, bro. This guy sure was... was sure eccentric. From the tone of my voice, he could tell I was confused. You not remember me? <laughs> God. I know you? He sounded kind of disappointed. Please, dude. Now you're making me feel bad. I gave him a good look. Good long look, the hamster wheel in my head beginning to move. Actually, still? The guy gave me a smile and a wink. Bro, <laughs> right on. Oh my god, it was him. I could see the life nearly draining out of his eyes. Wait, Erica's saying that? Why? I could barely hold my excitement in. Who's a good. 
Why did Erica say that? Stu was a good friend of mine back since we were kids. Even before the two of us attended school together, we knew each other. It was when I left for college, we kind of lost touch. Why couldn't you just greet me yourself, you bozo? <laughs> I wanted to surprise you. What a guy. <laughs> he always has something up his sleeve. Both of them, apparently. He seemed quite as pleased as I was. I didn't think I would have missed him so much. Oh, I totally forgot. I've been so caught up with Stu and Erica. I seem to have just left out Alan of the conversation. He's big mad. However, by the look on his, of his face, it didn't appear that he wanted to be part of this. I kind of felt bad. This is Alan. Hey. His tone was very uninterested. The three remained silent after Alan greeted himself. Erica had this look in her eye. I could tell what she was thinking, but I, she couldn't. She appeared to be in even thought. Please, somebody break the silence. Say something, stay quiet. Oh my gosh. I'm not the person to do this. Stu, it's, uh, it's your turn, buddy. Please? Hopefully he says something. If I were to stay quiet, would he say something? Oh, I don't know. Bad. Just, uh... I guess ugh, I'll say something. Dang. Great, looks like it's up to me. So, wait. All three of them looked at me once I spoke up. How did you and Erica even know each other? He remained silent, but Erica spoke up for him. Oh, he approached me after seeing me talking to you after class, saying that he knew you. I was a bit stunned. Did Stu not- Did Stu go to the same college as me and Erica did? That's a bit questionable. <laughs> of course. Alan's gonna jump in. Yep. Alan spoke up. It was a little startling since he was- He- Yeah. No. He has only said one word in this entire conversation. Erica only eyes him while Stu became a little- became stiff. Things seem to have gotten a bit out of hand. Off of one sentence, that's crazy. Why didn't you just approach Degenerate in the first place? And he about to be like, oh, I told you already because I wanted to surprise you. That's true, why didn't he? Stu was always the type to make the first move when greeting someone. Hey now, it's a little rude to intrude on someone when you first met, don't you think? A big guy? He is tall. You're avoiding the question. <laughs> I wanna be a part of this argument. The two were now staring each other down. Me and Erica looked at each other as if we both read each other's minds. Played with worry. Surprisingly, Erica stepped in. Oh god. If you really wanna know, he approached me first because he was asking for my number. <laughs> uh, that was my initial thought. I, I thought they were dating and then he's like, oh, you know this person? I know this person too. We used to be friends. And then this. That makes more sense. Oh, I see. That should calm you down, Alan. I know what's going on in there. A noggin. What? <laughs> No, I get it. I'll see you around then, Stu. What? What? It was at this point Alan took hold of me with a satisfied look on his face. That was not the best. Ever. Without a word, he took me away from the park. He wrapped his arms around me to protect me protectively. I can't explain why, but him being so close to me like this bought me comfort. That was like terrible. He gave me a comforting smile which I also returned. Yago just follows? Degenerate, wait. I looked back, seeing Erica running up to me, Stu right behind her. I do feel bad for leaving them behind at the uh, drop of a hat. Alan looked at me, shaking his head disapprovingly, as if telling me to stop talking to them. T oh, telling me that talking to them wasn't worth it. Let me, let me explain myself, please. Why? Dang, do I want to find out? Do I want to know? I, what's the problem, though? Like, what's the issue? 
I don't get it. Y'all seem like y'all would be a nice couple, so it's like... I don't exactly see what the problem is. Or did we used to like him or something? When we were kids? Bro, I don't know. I know he's gonna get mad if I listen to them though. Uh, should I risk it? <laughs> I don't know if I should risk it. Um, let's let's just see what what they gotta say. I couldn't leave him like this. He was my friend. Damn, my first ever friend. Damn. All right, Stu, go ahead. He sighed, <laughs> looking to the ground and fiddling with his pockets of his pants. Listen, Erica worded it weird. I know that back then I wasn't, well, what I mean is that, please don't perceive me in that type of way. Oh, as a playboy or whatever? I don't care. I really just wanted to see you. I heard enough, Stu. What? I gave him a reassuring, reassuring smile. Oh, wait, does he like me? I'm dumb. Or not even me, why am I doing that? Remembering Stu back then, he was kind of a flirt to everyone. Oh, you already painted that picture for yourself. It shouldn't surprise me that he tried to get with Erica. I don't know if I, don't know if I got upset at Stu for still getting into his old ways, or that I got upset that he was flirting with Erica. What? We don't care. Come on, we don't care. Upset at Stu's antics, upset he... They try to get to Erica, you don't know why. If we said- Well, these two can both be per perceived as the same thing. Upset at Stu's antics would mean that uh, the underlying issue is that, oh, we had a, we have a crush on him. And then, upset that you try to get with Erica is basically the same thing. Because then it would still make us look like we like him. So... Like... This is dumb. I'm just gonna say I don't know why. And I don't care. Oh, okay, great. Because that's true, we don't care. I just want to get this feeling off my chest. Plus, we're with this one. He steals chocolate for us. We're great. I breathed out, still smiling at the two. I know you're trying your best. I am. But yeah, that's what I said. You said it so seriously, but yet with so much sincerity. And with that, I left with Alan. Cool. What? I tried to relax. I tried to distract myself. I was bundled into a ball at the end of the of my couch. Alan sitting on the other side. When did we get to my house? What's playing on the TV? The living room was dark. With only the light of the TV giving any life. My attention wasn't on the TV, however. It was towards Alan. His eyes stayed glued to the screen before he shifted them in my direction. This is the second time I have been caught staring at him. I avert my gaze immediately. I must have been weird to him. You okay? How did we get here? I'm sorry. Are you still upset about what happened? I didn't want to really answer, but my silence was deafening. I'm being stupid, sorry. I don't know why I got so upset. I couldn't control it. I could see him softening his face at the co at the corner of my eye. I didn't know why I started rambling to him, but I did. I suddenly felt the weight on top of me. I was being pushed down onto my back. Why? 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 Is this another dream? Could it be? I we just we got here too fast. Alan had pinned me. His hands wrapped around my wrists. Uh oh. What's going on here? You know you can tell me anything. Not in this position. What? My heart, uh... <laughs> my heart started to pound and I felt him starting to come closer to my face. I went stiff. Bro, uh, I think we missed a couple, uh, chapters. What's going on? Did we? I don't know. Would we risk it? Oh, well, they're both kind of intimate, so. Let's, let's, let's go slow. I'm not sure if I wanted to, want to continue whatever this was, but I know that I didn't want to let him go. Even if it was for a bit. 
My hand reached out towards his face, my thumb rubbing across his cheek. Cheek. That. I could feel the rough patch of his scar. Oh, is this when we initiate the asking of the uh, of the scar? Keyword. word. You're bothering me. He leaned in to my touch, pressing his lips at the palm of my hand. He seemed to get the idea that I didn't want to go any further. He briefly smiled at me, only pulling me closer to his body and wrapping his arms around my waist. My hand drifted up into his brown hair, and I saw they began to stroke it. We must have stayed for a good few minutes, holding each other. Hey, I got an idea. Oh, do you plan on robbing the convenience store again? Alan got up from his from my chest, rolling his eyes. I'll leave that for another day, but no. <laughs> I think you'll like this much better. Oh, back at the woods again? Great. He took my hand and guided me back to the woods. It was a bit of a walk, like most of our little get-togethers, but for some reason, it felt longer than before. Gradually, the trees became sparse, and patches of the night sky peeked through the branches. We were going uphill, having a bit of a hike on our way there. He seemed to have noticed that I was getting fatigued. If you want, I can carry you. It's no bother. I'm good. Oh, damn. <laughs> Too many choices. Um, This is like the first time we ever got to choose, so you know what? Let's take this opportunity. Because they, they always be like, oh, I'll carry you, I'll carry you. And then it never happens. But now we're going to let this happen. We've never let it happen before. Yeah. It seemed a little silly, but I wouldn't mind. Raising my arms up, motioning him to pick me up. Are, are we that small? <laughs> Over here, uppy uppies, like... He smiled at me, and just as quickly I lifted my body, carrying me bridal style. Oh yeah. Like with Mason? You're incredibly cute. Thank you. Shut up. <laughs> Which is another way of saying thank you. See? The abruptness. We both lay down on the soft grass. The sky was completely bare of any clouds, and the darkness of the woods made the tiniest dots of the stars twinkle brighter. It was so nice and cool out here. I looked over to Alan, eyes glowing with awe, and made me smile seeing him like a kid in a candy store. What's your favorite? I don't have one. Constellation, I mean. What's your favorite constellation? I don't... Your zodiac... Draco. I've never- I don't know what these are. I'm gonna just go with the zodiac since that's the easiest one. My favorite constellation is my zodiac. Really? Which one? Taurus. <laughs> oh, I thought it was messing up. I didn't save. Um, where's Taurus? <gasps> I can't. It's not here. Why is that the only one that's not here? Is there something missing? We won't be able to do our own constellation because it's not up here. So let's just go back and pick something else. Let's do Draco. It sounds like dragon, and dragons are pretty cool. I like Draco. Ah, oh, that's a good one. People often confuse it for the Big Dipper. Aren't they kind of the same? Not really. The Big Dipper is supposed to be the guide to finding Draco. Oh. Yeah, which one is your favorite? Orion? O Orion? Let me see. I'm, I'm gonna search up these because I want to know what they are too. We don't get stars in the city because of pollution, so. <laughs> That's sad. Racco. Oh, that one looks actually really cool. Because it looks like a, a snake. A dragon! I love dragons! Oh my gosh. Dragons are so cool. I made a good choice then. Draco, dragon, nice. It's a cool, they're cool constellations. 
the hunter one why is that the story behind it is, is cool <gasps> are you gonna tell me it and i share the same last name <gasps> alan orion orion is your full name alan simply gave me a nod sighing peacefully speaking in the fresh air around us tell me the story you should know a lot about constellations yeah ever since i was a kid this is probably the first thing I know something personal, but let's just say time, right? I don't know. About him. My eyes went from looking at the stars to the stitched scar on his arm. Alan? Hmm? About those scars. Oh. I see his smile drop and I immediately feel bad for bringing it up. I'm sorry, I know you probably don't want to talk about it, but it's okay, you're just worried about me, right? I give him a nod, laying on my side, looking over to him. I give him a few moments from to collect his thoughts. He finally spoke up. Well, to start off, most of these scars are recent, only due to me and my recklessness. Like? Like trying to feed a bear? Why would you do that? Alan, I know, I know, it was dumb. Extremely dumb. I literally punched his arm as if... It was some sort of punishment for putting myself in danger like that. Oh, putting himself in danger. Whoops. He only retaliated with a soft chuckle. His smile faded, however. Not all of them are new, though. He shifted uncomfortably. I gave him another moment. I was kind of a troubled kid. Got bullied a lot. And, well, got pretty tired of it. Mm. Wait, what? I got pretty tired of it that got that I got physical. Oh, fighting people. Got it. So those cigarette burns are from your bullies? No, they were from my older brother. Lovely. I was I was gonna I was prepared to see like parents. What? You have a brother? He did that to you? I have three actually. This was spinning my entire world. Alan must have been through a lot. Is that why he's in the woods to escape from it all? We were pretty dysfunctional. Mom was constantly in and out of the um, hospital, so two of my older brothers had to take care of us. The eldest, he burnt cigarettes on me, however. I would win in a fight, telling, telling me I finally became what I was meant to do. It was to fight back and not let others push me. I'd hate to say it worked. What about your other brothers? Second eldest wanted to pretend that everything was fine, and ignored our problems. He was desperate, desperately trying to be like the dad of our group. When I didn't need one, I wanted a brother. He heavily sighed after his rant. I kept myself quiet to let him continue. My youngest brother, I got along with him at first, but he wasn't the worst out of the out of them. But we had to we had a fallout. I'm sorry. It's alright. They were nothing compared to my school life. I got called crazy-eyed Alan by my entire class. Stuff like that is cool. I don't understand why people... Dumb. I only gave him a sad expression, feeling incredibly sorry for him. I scooted closer to him, practically touching his shoulders. Can't imagine how long he must have endured it. One instance in particular pushed me over the edge. That day I decided to drop out of school, leave my family, and never look back. We both stayed silent, continuing to look up at the night sky. I always thought I was meant to be alone. I didn't like being around people. I started to feel his hands starting to brush against mine. That wasn't until I met you, Doaz. Thank you for that again. For the third time. He took hold of my hand, squeezing it tightly. He made my heart race. Alan. Hmm? I look over to him, meeting his eyes, giving me the softest expression I have ever seen from him. I think your eyes are beautiful. Glad to have met you. I am going to say the first thing because I like that. That one is very perfect for the situation. I think you have very beautiful eyes. A smile slowly crept onto him, and I could see his face reddening. Thank you. I think. What was the dots for? I think um, I should go back home now. All right then. We both got up from our spot. I stretched out my arms, feeling a yawn coming up. 
Alan noticed standing behind, beside me. Let me carry you. That's fine, Alan. I'm just a little tired. Before I could get on my feet, I felt his arms hook around my legs and back to proceed to pick me up from the ground at ease. <laughs> he gave me a smile, holding me closer to his body. I insist. I gave in, pouting on the way there. Before my eyes began to grow heavy, I leaned onto his chest, making him my personal pillow and rested my eyes. I could barely tell what was going on around me, only feeling my body being set down with something soft and comfortable. That solidifies it. I smiled, cuddling up to something soft I could find next to me. Before I drifted off to sleep, something warm presses against my cheek, and I heard Alan's voice. Good night. Yes. That was it? Wait, is this a demo? Oh my gosh. Wow, that was, well that was, um, my dear hatchet man, I didn't realize it was a demo. Damn. <sighs> but yeah, that was it. That was actually really nice. He's so sweet. Oh yeah, if you guys enjoyed that, because I know I certainly did. That was really good. Um, leave a like on the video and I will see you guys next time.